Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Are you ready to start the final world in the game? Well, it's over here. Like, remember Mario fl wings over the rainbow or something like that over there? Yeah, it's in the opposite window off to the side here and then you just drop down a similar hole here and let's just take a look down there it's got that very similar cloud texture but i assure you it is an entirely different place rainbow ride starting with the first star cruiser crossing the rainbow and it's a pretty crazy stage <laughs> this stage kind of represents the special world of uh, mario games basically in that it is the weirdo outsider world of the game so to speak uh, I'm, I'm probably not going to take this route for too many stars because there's a shortcut that you can do a little bit later on. I'm just going to dodge that fire if you don't mind. There we go. <laughs> um, what you want to do once you get to here is jump off. By the way, if you... Whoa, geez, that was close. If you're off of one of those flying carpets for too long, it'll actually vanish. So keep that in mind. Anyway, no lack of two, no lack of two, bad lack of two. Okay. He only wanders around that area, so you don't have to worry about that too much. I think this is the correct path I want to take here. Yes. Just keep following these carpets until you reach the ship. And maybe I should zoom out the camera a little bit. Keep the camera in a comfortable spot to make your jumps. Like, make sure it's sideways from where you are. Like, if you're going to make a jump like here, coming up ahead, I want it to be like this. So I can do, like side-scroller platforming so to speak that's what this really feels like actually all right and wait a second i'm gonna keep following this i think and then i want to go left path i think yeah it's another lack of two it's a different kind though uh, the 100 coin star in this one as you might be able to tell is might be very difficult but it is indeed possible Alright, be careful with the fire here. As a matter of fact, if you probably want to go on top of the thing, the spinning thing, if at all possible, to dodge the fire. Uh, the blue fire doesn't really have any different effect from red or orange fire. It just It's just fire, so yeah. Oh boy! <laughs> Those platforms can knock you off the flying carpet, so beware of that. You'll eventually make it to the ship, though, and that is where the star lies. Just be careful with your platforming. There's a lot of pressure in the platforming. Oh, jeez. I mean, it it's, it's only feels like there's a lot of waiting around, but you definitely want to stay alert just in case of issues along the way. And there is the first star there! Against the wind and everything. Woo! Alright, that wasn't too bad. Next up is... What is the next star, anyway? <laughs> it is... The Big House in the Sky. Ah, we're going to the Cloud House this time. Uh, I will take this path, even though that it's probably a bit slower because you have to wait around, but it's probably safer than the long jump path that I could take from the start over to that pole. But, yeah, it's just, uh, I'm just gonna stick with nice, relaxed, safe route, I suppose. Just don't mind the fire. The fire always goes above your head, so you don't have to worry about the fire at all. Notice how I got the camera to the side here, and you just jump like a side-scroller to the next platform. That is how I like to do- oh, jeez, do the level. Um, lack of two being above you can actually be an issue to your jumps. Uh, when you're crossing this area, because if you hit underneath him, you know, as he flies over you while you're trying to make a jump, you might undershoot your jump, and yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, is this... I think this is the right path. I hope this is the right path. Because there's us. Remember there was a split path um, of magic carpets up ahead, and one of them leads to that house over there. And I just gotta work my way to it gradually. Don't worry, we will get there, even if it does seem like there's a lot of waiting. Just enjoy the Benny Hill music, Yakety Sax. Okay, that's not the actual song, but... <laughs> okay, now for the glass block portion. Get on... No! Why? Why me? 
This will respawn, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. <sighs> See you back up top. And here we are. This time, I'm, I'm, this time I'm gonna flip the camera like that so I can actually see what I'm aiming for. Yes, these are actual donut blocks in 3D, so they will fall. Oh, no you don't. Gotta watch the carpet. Uh, yes, and yes, alright. The rest of this is pretty easy. You just gotta keep following the path because you need the carpet to go through the house and up to the roof where the star is. So, let's wait it out, see how things go. Oh, that chimney inside the house can actually hurt you. I'm not going to demonstrate that because I'm trying to do a star here, but take my word for it, it can. <laughs> it's nice that the camera flips around like that for you, and beware of the fire. That could be an issue for you as well. Just uh, try and stay on the cloud, use the floor if necessary, but you might, I mean, you probably won't have to like I just did there. Okay, and it's gonna cross through the house again, as you can tell by the uh, rainbow pathway, so keep that in mind. So you gotta look out for the fire not once, but twice through this route. And there we go. Alright, I think this will be a good camera angle, I hope. Maybe, could be. Well, it's gonna be looping up very shortly. And this is where it gets kind of risky, because you can actually get hit by the fire and then not be on this spinning magic carpet on, along the way up there and then miss your chance, and you have to pretty much restart the whole route here, and that kind of sucks. Ah, there we go. And then the carpet just falls right off the edge, as it usually does. There's a one-up, but more importantly, there is the star. Yeah! Delightful. Okay, next star we go, and it is coins amassed in a maze. This is another easy red coin star, so you probably won't have all that many issues with it, um, unless you're um, not all that akin to jumping around in 3D and doing wall jumps and stuff like that, because that's basically what the star is, is it is, it is a red coin obstacle course. And we've already seen the area that the coins are in, kind of, from a distance, but we didn't actually go in it just yet, and that's the pathway that I'm going to be taking this time. So, from here, rather than take that carpet to the right, we are going to go... Oh, no, Lakitu. Bad Lakitu. Stay away. There we go. <laughs> we are going to take this route right here, and this is the place with the red coins. Oh, shoot. Well, um, I wonder if I should do this ahead of time here just to unlock something, because I don't think you need uh, the cannon in any of these stars, so what I'm going to do here is do a little dry run of this this special area here. Uh, this is for the 100 coin star later, but I would like to practice these wall kicks. I did pretty dang well there. And here is the Babam buddy to unlock the cannon way, way, way on top of the ship. Yeah, it's over there, and we've already been there once, so it's like, what's the point of going back there for the cannon? I, I mean, I guess that's a way back, but otherwise it's it's kind of pointless overall. Anyway, this is an elevator, which takes you back down, and this is an easy way to get that coin. So I'm going to get that one first. Oh, poopers. Uh, if you fall from here, it's not really that big of a deal, because as you can tell, there's just a, a couple... I mean, there's a nice floor there, so you don't have to worry about falling to your death. Um, there's a coin across there, but I'm gonna get that on my way. Well, I guess I could get it now. Why not? It's easy to get. There's two. All the, all the red coins in this level are indeed in this maze. This platforming maze. Careful of that the flame orb. No big deal, though, really. Um, just gonna take these. Six. And this one I like to long jump over to like that. Because it's, it's ah, seems much easier to do it that way. No, no, no bad, bad fire, bad. Ah. All right. Luckily, there's this is the red coin challenge after all, so it doesn't really matter because right, I'm gonna be regaining health as I go along the way anyway. All right, for this one, you actually gotta slide and jump to it. Try and jump like near the edge of it, like that. 
and you'll get it. And voila! Well, now you have all you have to do is work your way back down there. There's a, there's a rather big safety net down here, so this is definitely one of the safer red coin stars to get in the game. And here we go. <laughs> Woo. Not too shabby. And going back in, because I'm making good time in this part, it is Swinging in the Breeze. This one, I'm actually... Sure. There's a shortcut that you can take all the way over to there, which really speeds up the level. Um, otherwise, what you'll have to do is, remember those moving platforms, those t turning ones? You actually gotta go off the left one and follow the path. But here is a nice shortcut that I think you will appreciate. Just aim right straight for the pole, and there you go. You are in the left pathway now of Rainbow Ride. And no, you don't, Fly Guy. Alright, you got some platforming to do along the way here, you just gotta manipulate some of the swings. And this is quite literally what they mean by swinging in the breeze, because we gotta do platforming with manipulation of swings and tilting things and stuff like that, and... Oh jeez, I was a little nervous there, but uh, the star we're aiming for is uh, up on that platform, and what we gotta do is just work our way up there. It's not really that big of a deal. And over here you could have the potential of falling off, but just aim to grab onto the ledges and you should be rather safe with that. Alright, last swing, and we are at the thing, and I have no idea what those things are attached to. It's just like, everything is floating in midair. Physics do not exist in this place, except for Mario. <laughs> Hence why this is like the special zone of the level. And there we go. Swinging in the breeze is complete. Yahoo, indeed! Woo! Alright, one more star I think I'll do this part, if you don't mind. I'm sure you won't mind. <laughs> Tricky Triangles. This one I'm taking the, the same route as I did the other one, in that I'm gonna aim for the pole right off the start, shortcut to the left pathway of Rainbow Ride, and start with the platforming, only this time we're gonna take a slightly different path once we reach the upper area, so just enjoy the ride, I guess, like quite literally, since it is a rainbow ride. Um, none, of the, none of the platforming in this level is particularly hard, it's just a matter of getting used to the obstacles as you do, as you go, and notice how you can jump on the um, uh, donut blocks and you can still stay on them happily without having to worry about them falling. Like if you stay on them too long they're gonna start falling. Oh and they do respawn as well so keep that in mind. Um, just gonna jump across and then long jump here. Oh and I managed to do that huh? Really after all I was doing the whole part I was doing that well and then I mess up that jump. Really now? <laughs> Alright, once again, from the top, well actually, you know what, I'll see you up there. And we are already up here, let's see how well I fare against this obstacle again! Oh, jeez! Alright, this time, just make sure your jumps are from a distance, preferably long jump, there we go. Alright, these are the tricky triangles they're talking about. They're, they're more like pyramids actually and all you have to do is reverse the pyramids and do the platforming while they are oh jeez that was close while they are um in that position and it's this actually can be rather tricky to do because of how fast you have to do this but you can um sneak up like there for a shortcut and there you go And with that, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.